Um, but there's this whole new population of people who are going to have this intense feeling anxiety that likely hasn't been addressed yet. Getting back to normal life after COVID-19 might not be as easy as it sounds, especially for your mental health. Lisa Bruder with the Genesee Health System says there's been an increase of people needing extra resources. For a year, we've been dormant. We've been sitting at home and pretty isolated. And so it's a really big leap to kind of integrate back into traditional workplace rules and norms. So how do we cope? Not only are people heading back to work, but social events and large gatherings will now become commonplace. Bruder says start with giving yourself a break. Just to kind of give yourself grace, I think is the best advice that I can give so far that um, anxiety is real. You're not alone. We are all as you can see, I'm in my own space right now too. And so we're all kind of preparing to make that adjustment back. Um, and it feels different. Bruder says, try to calm your anxiety by doing things you enjoy, talking to a friend and above all, reaching out for help if the anxiety starts impacting your everyday life. Definitely, we wanna increase the comfort and support around reaching out for help. Um, so I would recommend people make attempts at using their own coping skills that they're familiar with, you know, go for a walk, be with your family, do different things that traditionally help you calm down. But if you feel like that just isn't working, then absolutely reach out to, to us as Genesee Health System, reach out to a private provider, whoever that may be. In Genesee County, Rachel McCrary, WNEM TV5.